I'm sure you use these words or expressions in English every single day. But do you know their translation in Italian? Well, in today's video, we're going to look at very common English words and expressions. And I'll tell you what their translation in Italian is. And if there is no direct translation, I will tell you the closest word you could use to replace them. Ciao a tutti e benvenuti sul mio canale. My name is Stefano and I am an Italian teacher. In today's video, we're going to look at some very common English words that you use every day, but maybe you don't know how to translate them in Italian. But before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any future Italian lesson. The first word that I have for today is actually. I've been speaking English for a long time and I use actually all the time. First of all, I would say that actually in Italian is not used with the same frequency as it is used in English, but we do have a translation for the word actually. Well, I'm actually gonna give you two options. I just said actually. <laughs> To say actually in Italian, you can say in realtà, in realtà, or a dire il vero, a dire il vero. Let me give you a couple of examples to better understand. Il mio amico sembra italiano, ma in realtà è tedesco. Il mio amico sembra italiano, ma a dire il vero è tedesco. My friend looks Italian, but actually... He is from Germany. Pensavo che andassi in Italia. No, in realtà vado in Francia quest'estate. I thought you were going to Italy. No, actually, I'm going to France this summer. All right, now let's move on to the second word of today. Like. Like is so much used in English and we do have a translation for that. Although I try my best not to use like when I speak English and the same happens with the Italian translation, sometimes it can be very, very useful. Let's say, for example, you're speaking in Italian, but you want to buy yourself some time to think about what you're going to say. In English, you can throw in a like and the same in Italian with its translation. Let me give you an example. Sono andato in Italia quest'estate e siamo stati in, diciamo, una specie di ostello. As you can see, by doing this, I'm basically buying myself some time to express my idea. So if you want to use like in that sense in Italian, you can say diciamo or tipo. So as you can see, if you want to buy yourself some time because you're thinking about your ideas, because you want to express your ideas, but you don't quite know how to, then you can just use diciamo. Another way we can say like in Italian is tipo, and it's used in the exact same way. Now, just remember that this is 100% informal. So you, you can use it with your friends, with your teacher, or with your family. But try your best to reduce this as much as you can when you're maybe giving a speech. Or for example, if you're coming to work to Italy, maybe try to avoid this if you are giving a presentation, for example. Sometimes it can be kind of annoying when people keep repeating diciamo, diciamo, or tipo. But that happens sometimes, and that's totally normal. The third expression that I have for today is to be like. Now, let's say, for example, that you're telling me a story and you want to tell me what your friend was saying. So you start saying something like, he came to my house and then he was like, where's the cake that I made? So how would we translate this? How would we translate he was like or he is like if we want to tell that person what another person was saying? Well, for starters, we can just use the verb dire to say. And in that case, we would say, lui è venuto a casa mia e mi ha detto, dov'è la torta che ho preparato? È venuto a casa mia e mi ha detto, dov'è la torta che ho preparato? But if we want to be more colloquial and sound like a real native Italian, then we can use mi fa. Mi fa. So basically, we are using the verb fare and then we're adding the pronoun mi. So like said to me. In this case, we're going to use the verb fare in the present. We don't need to make it past. È venuto a casa mia e mi fa. Dov'è la torta che ho preparato? È venuto a casa mia e mi fa. Dov'è la torta che ho preparato? So, mi fa, in the present, just translates he was like. 
And now let's move on to the next word that I love and use all the time, whatever. I love this one so much and I tend to use it quite a lot in English. Well, let me tell you that we do have an Italian translation for whatever. Now, of course, sometimes this expression can be kind of rude. So it really depends on the context and your intonation. So if we're using whatever, just because we don't care, in Italian, we're going to use vabbè, vabbè. We usually accompany vabbè with this hand gesture, vabbè, vabbè. So when we do this, we're like, oh, I don't care, whatever, vabbè. This is extremely used in Italian, and just remember that it might be kind of rude. Of course, we can also use it when we're telling a person, yeah, I mean, whatever, don't worry about something. For example, Scusa Stefano, sono in ritardo. I'm sorry Stefano, I'm late. And I don't care, it's fine, no worries. I'm just gonna say, va bene, non ti preoccupare. Va bene, non ti preoccupare. In that case, yes, I'm saying whatever, but I'm not being rude. I'm just saying, yeah, no worries, it's no big deal. And as you can see, my intonation also kind of changed. I was not that mad or careless. I was saying, yeah, it's, it's okay. Vabbè, non ti preoccupare. And now let's move on to the next expression that I have for today. It's not like. Honestly, though, I feel like I use this expression all the time in English. I start a lot of my sentences in English with it's not like. And the same happens in Italian. How would we say that though? Let's say, for example, that you have been invited to Europe with your friends and they're going literally everywhere except Italy. And of course, you would love to go with them, but you also want to go to Italy. So it's not like you don't want to go with them, but you just would rather go to Italy. So how would you say that in Italian? Non è che non voglio andare con loro, ma preferisco andare in Italia. Non è che non voglio andare con loro, ma preferisco andare in Italia. It's not like I don't want to go with them, but I would rather go to Italy. So it's not like is non è che. Non è che. And now let's move on to one of the most used expressions in English. And I'm sure you use it all the time. You know, this is also used like kind of a filler word. You know, when you're, uh, see, I just said, uh, this is also used like a filler word. So when you are thinking and you, again, want to buy yourself some time to think and express your ideas, you just add, you know. Well, the same thing happens in Italian. And this is not tricky at all because we use actually the same exact verb. So we just say sai. And sai is the direct translation of you know. Sai. Sai. Let me give you an example to better understand. Sono stato in Italia e sai, mi è piaciuta tantissimo, ma mi sto pentendo di non essere andato a Venezia. Sono stato in Italia e, sai, mi è piaciuta tantissimo, ma mi sto pentendo di non essere andato a Venezia. All right, let's move on to the next expression of today. It's good. It's good. How would you say this in Italian? Well, honestly, I'm not gonna mention all the possible uses of it's good in English, as you use it all the time. But you know, when you want to say to a friend that, like, it's good, like, an idea is good, or, for example, the plants... Uh, are good and uh, you are in and you say, all right, it's good. How would we translate that in Italian? Well, it's very, very easy. We just say, va bene, va bene, va bene. So let's say that I'm planning my future lessons with my students and I say, ci vediamo la prossima settimana alla stessa ora? Ci vediamo la prossima settimana alla stessa ora? Are we meeting next week at the same time? And then the student says, Sì, certo, va bene. Sì, certo, va bene. Yeah, sure. All right, it's good. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for today's feed. That, uh, uh, that's it. Actually, this is also a good one. Do you know how to say that's it in Italian? For example, right now I'm giving a lesson and that's it. We're done for today's lesson. How would I say that in Italian? How would you end a speech and let your listeners know that you were done talking? Well, it's very easy. You've got two options. Tutto qui or e tutto. Tutto qui or 
è tutto. That's it. All right, guys, tutto qui, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And also, let me know if you knew how to translate these very, very common English expressions or words in Italian. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also, don't forget to visit my website, teacherstefano.com, for more educational content and my newsletter. I'm going to see you in the next video. Ci vediamo nel prossimo video. Ciao!